Hi folks, Paul here. I have just been using the awesomest battery charger thingy to charge up 150 pairs, pairs of cells. Uh, so that's very nice. And what I'm hoping to get is 84 good enough cells to build up my next one kilowatt hour pack. And uh, normally I would use my trusty Opus, and I've only got the one because I keep spending my money on other things. But recently I managed to damage this segment. Uh, I think what I did is I had a cell that I pulled out of an e-bike which had really strong welds, and when I removed the strapping it actually pull the hole in the bottom of the cell so that when I put it in the discharger the electrolyte leaked through into the bottom and the PC board is actually right under there and that screwed it up so now it reads wonky current gives me funny current current readings it says that it's charging at one and a half amps when the maximum that these can do is is uh, one amp per slot so I'm, I'm no longer using this slot so I'm down to three which would be a bit more tedious to do 150 cells um, fortunately last weekend I went to the the opening of a new makerspace in Laha where I live called the I think it's called the Nanai uh, Remakery. And while I was there, I met somebody who watches my videos and who said, oh, I've got four Opus chargers, discharges that I'm not using. And um, he said I was perfectly able to borrow his. So, here we go. I've got these plugged in to a harness that I made a while ago that um, is actually drawing power from a 24 to 12 volt DC to DC converter. So it's running off my power wall, merrily discharging, and I'm, I've put eight cells in already, and so I'll do some more. So these have been sitting for one week, which is um, as long as my patience will last. The, the general recommendation is that you leave them to sit for a fortnight or, or even longer to see if any of them self-discharge. And if they end up being less than four volts, then you know they're really self-discharging quite rapidly and they're no good. If they're less than four point one volts then you might want to be nervous so that's 3.95 which is below my threshold so i'm throwing it out um this one here is 4.12 that's good here we go so 4.09 it's okay 4.11 that's good and 4.08. So once I've got them in the cell and I've verified that they're all of a decent voltage, I pull them all down, release them, make sure the mode is all correct, and uh, if you get a null, that's because it's not measuring correctly. And then you can set the current on all four of them. When they're all four flashing, you can set the current, um, and boom, you're away. So, let's do the next one. 4.11, that's good. Now this one here, it's a bit messy. This is paper wrapped, which I'm assuming is ancient, and I have very low hopes that it will be any good. Let's have a look. 3.86, yeah. As I suspected, it's ancient and history. 4.15, that's alright. Here's another blue one, is that okay? 4.1, mm, it's okay. And that's 4.13. So, 
Keep them all going. Let's change the mode to discharge and the current to 1 amp. Alright, and away they go. And so at the moment, these three discharges here are all running through this watt meter, um, which is saying it's drawing 0.4 of an amp to run all three. That's alright. That's going to be fine. This one's actually connected directly, not via the watt meter. 150 cells divided by 16. Uh, oops, divided by 16 equals 9.3. So that means I will need to run this batch of opuses uh, 10 times and I will have done all 150 cells. Sweet! That's not too tedious at all. Um, I can do one tonight, maybe three runs tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Sunday, and then two, possibly three per day during the week. Great! That is going to be quick. I'm happy. Thank you very much to Murray who has lent me these. If you're in a situation like me where you've only got uh, one or um, you're a bit low on some equipment, it's definitely worth going over to DIYPowerWalls.com and posting a message there to see if there's anybody else in your town who's also playing with 18650s who might have some equipment they can lend you or help you with or vice versa, you could lend them. It's definitely worth spreading the equipment because quite often once you've done a whole bunch of charging uh, with your opuses then you don't really need them anymore um, until your next lot of charging and so it would be quite a good thing to lend them to somebody else. So yeah, thanks, thanks to Murray who lent me these. This is going to make my capacity measuring process much better. Oh, and one other trick. I always leave the display showing the milliamp hours being drained during the discharge so that when that number, which usually hovers around 1000 milliamp hours or 1 amp, uh, when that drops to zero, then you know that that particular cell is done. And then, once you've reached that point, you can switch the display to show you what the actual milliamp hour rating is for the particular cells. And normally I actually prefer to wait until all four are done so that I don't accidentally um, bump one and upset the discharge process. It's better to wait till they're all done, then you can pull them out one at a time and write down the, the numbers on the cells. Thanks for watching. Cheers.